Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you a video that I'm actually really excited about. It's something that I've been seeing around YouTube lately and I just thought so much about it and realized that I really wanted to do it for myself. I thought at first that it might be too late for me to do it, but I don't know, I figured that I would just give it a shot anyway. We're still in January, so I'm gonna give it a try. So I might as well tell you what I'm talking about. So this is going to be a project pan for the year of 2018. If you've never seen a project pan video, it's basically a video where people talk about products that they want to either hit pan on, which if you don't know what that is, it's when you have a product and you can see the bottom or use up a product entirely. I really like this idea because you know, on YouTube, there's all this excitement around new products and getting the next big thing. And a lot of time there isn't a lot of focus on using up what you have. And I'm guilty of this for sure. I have a lot of products that have been in my collection for a while and just don't get the love that they deserve. So some of these things are things that I love but just have been in my collection for too long and I feel like they need to get used up or at least used a little bit more. And some of these things I'm not a huge fan of anymore and I just really wanna get them out of my collection. So just as I have seen other people do, I'm going to try and use up 18 products in the year of 2018. And what I'm going to do is um, every few months or so, I'm going to do an update video and show you how I'm doing. Let's go through all of the products. I tried to do a good variety of products. So, you know, face products and lip products, eye products, just so that it was sort of a well-rounded thing. This was actually really hard to do because there are definitely a lot of products that I feel like I'd like to at least use a lot more, if not get rid of. The first thing is a powder, and this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural. Um, this is the shade medium. This is a great face powder. Um, and I've actually used quite a bit of this. If you can see, like normally this has a nice dome to it. If you've seen these mineralized products before from Mac. Um, so this may not be too difficult for me. I do have a lot of other powders that I use though. So I just need to pay a little more attention to this, but I've had this for a while and I'd like to kind of get this out of my collection. So I'd really like to use this one up. The next one is a foundation and this one shouldn't be too difficult for me just because um, I don't have very much left in here. It's really hard to tell. This is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. I really do like this foundation. I've just had it for a while and I have not too much left in here. So I really would like to use it up. Up. I love this foundation, but I hate that it doesn't have a pump. I really wish it did. It's one of the things that I don't like about this foundation, to be honest with you, because I have to either pour it out or, you know, kind of put my finger on it and tip it out. And it's just messy. And um, I do really like it, but until they come out with a pump for this guy, I don't know that I will repurchase it for sure. I just want to get it out of my collection. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. This is the um, smoothing primer. So this is supposed to be sort of like a benefit professional type of product. Um, it has, you know, a little bit of a tint to it and, you know, it has a smoothing effect. So you put it on and it helps kind of fill in your pores and, you know, um, make your skin look a little more smooth. Um, I don't love this. It's okay. It works decently enough, but I find that I don't reach for it a ton because it doesn't completely fill in my pores. So I just feel like it does an okay job. Um, I definitely have some large pores right around here, um, a little bit on my nose and whatnot. So um, I don't know, I just, I'm ready to use this thing up because I just don't think that it's amazing. The next one is a concealer and this is one that I like a lot. It's just in a shade that's a little bit too light for me. This is um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. So this is just a pretty light shade for me as far as like um, just using it as a concealer. So I typically will use this just to, you know, I'll use one that's in more of my shade and then I'll use this one just kind of like here to highlight a little bit. So that's why I still have it. Otherwise I feel like I would have used it up more quickly. Um, I can't really tell how much I have left in here. I do feel like I've used a decent amount of it, but I can't tell how close I am to finishing it. I feel like I've had this for a little while and I have other concealers that I'm using and that I like. And so I just would like to kind of use this up and get it out. The next product that I have is a bronzer and this is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I love this bronzer. This is one that I really, really do enjoy. Um, you probably can't really tell, but I do have a nice dip in this because I've used it quite a bit. I've had this one for a while though, and I also have a NARS Laguna that's in a palette that I had gotten. 
So I really would just like to use this a lot more. I have other bronzers that I like too. Um, this is definitely one of my favorites. I use this to bronze, but I also can kind of use this to contour just a little bit because of the shade. I'd really like to hit pan on this one. So I don't expect to use this up. That would take a lot, um, but I really would like to hit pan on this. So that's really my goal. The next thing I have is a blush and it's a cream blush. And this is by Makeup Forever. Um, this is in the shade 215. It's a really pretty um, sort of peachy, you know, matte blush. Um, and these are a really nice formula. It, you know, is definitely quite a bit of a cream, but you know, it blends in really, really easily. And then it feels pretty powdery. So you can see that there, I sort of blended it out really, really nice. It's just because it's a cream product, I don't use it a whole lot. Um, and I really would like to use it more. So um, I'm just hoping to hit pan on this one. I do have quite a bit left in here. So this is, this is definitely gonna be a challenge, but I'm really hoping to use a lot more of this because I do like it a lot. I can't say that I would repurchase this just because I, I just tend to go for powders more often, but um, I've had this for a while and I really wanna get more use out of it because otherwise it's gonna go bad. And the next thing I have is actually a palette and um, this is the Urban Decay Naked Flush Palette in the shade Streak. And this is cool because it comes with a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush. I felt like this blush actually would go nice on top of that Makeup Forever one if I wanted it to really last. Um, I've had this for a while. I do get a lot of use out of this, especially when I go out of town. This is a great one that I pack in my bag because it has all three in one. I just don't feel like normally when I'm home that I reach for it. It's really only when I go out of town that I pull this and it deserves a little more love. Plus I've had it for a while. Um, and so I really want to hit pan on it. I've definitely got a pretty good dip. I think you can see that in the highlight there. Um, and even in the bronzer, not, not as much in the blush. So, you know, I, I probably would anticipate hitting pan on one of these before I would hit pan on the blush. Um, and of course I do have the Laguna bronzer too. Um, and I have other highlights that I wanna go through. But it, so, I, you know, it doesn't matter which one, I just wanna hit pan on one of these. Another highlight that I have is just a little mini size. So this will be a little easier to use. This is the Benefit What's Up. And this is a great product. This is a cream highlighter, which is another reason why I haven't reached for it a ton. But I recently uh, brought it with me when I went out of town and I realized that I, I really enjoy this one. It's really, really nice. I have a decent amount left in this. I mean, this is a little size. I think it was a Sephora point perk or something like that. And you get a decent amount. I mean, I've used this a good amount. Um, but I'd really like to use it up because I've had it for a little while and it's a cream and I don't want it to go bad. The other highlighter that I have that, again, I'm also just hoping to hit pan on, it's really hard with powder products um, in these you know big pan sizes to, to just totally use them up. This is Becca Opal. This is a cult classic. It's a little bit dark for me when I'm pretty fair, like in the winter, like I am right now. Um, but I still can get away with it. So, you know, going into summer, I'll probably, spring and summer, I'll use this a little bit more. But I have used this quite a bit. You can see that there is quite a dip in there. So I really do think that I can hit pan on this one if I just keep using it. I also really like to use this on my body. Um, so, you know, if I'm wearing something that's sleeveless, um, obviously I'm not gonna be doing that right now in the winter, but when it's warmer out, I can wear this on my shoulders. It gives a really nice glow or on my collarbone. So I don't just use this on my cheekbones. So I feel like this will be really an easy goal. Now moving into eyes, I have an eye primer and I have an eyeshadow palette, um, also a single eyeshadow actually. So the eyeshadow primer is the matte uh, painterly paint pot. So this is in sort of, you know, um, more of a cool toned nude shade. And the only reason why I haven't, my dog is knocking this camera. The only reason why I haven't used this up, to be honest with you, because I do like this a lot, is because sometimes if I wear this for a long time, it does crease on me. So I kind of only will wear this if I know I'm not gonna be wearing it for like a whole long, you know, 12 hour day kind of thing. It's not my go-to. And so I really would like to use it up and get rid of it instead of, you know, just letting it go bad. And I will back to Mac this when I'm done with it, but I really would like to use it up. I've used quite a bit of it, you can see. So it's not, you know, gonna be too hard for me to get rid of but I just have to think about reaching for it more often than I do now. I think if you don't have super oily eyelids, this would work just great, people love this. So the eyeshadow that I have is a ColourPop eyeshadow and I really do like these. They're the Super Shock eyeshadows, I think. <laughs> um, 
Is that what they're called? Super Shock Shadow? Yeah. Um, this is a metallic one in the shade Sequin. And I have a bunch of these. I got them when, you know, it was like really a big hype on YouTube. And I do really like these. I just don't reach for them quite as much as I used to because um, they're just a little more of a pain to use. You know, I you can use your brush, but I do think that they are better with your finger and you really do need to use a good primer underneath or they fade. They are really beautiful. And this is a shade that I feel like I can use up pretty easily. I, I'm, I don't expect to use this up. I just, I'm hoping to hit pan on it. Um, so this shade sequin is a really pretty rose gold shade. Um, and I just feel like I can get a, a lot of use out of this one. I had a few that I was sort of debating between which one I wanted to include in this project pan. And I felt like this one would be a good one because of the color. The next thing I have is an eyeshadow palette. And this is another thing. Um, this is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. I love this palette. This is another thing like the Urban Decay Streak palette that I, um, I very often will take this traveling with me, but I don't use it a whole lot when I'm in town. It's such a great palette to bring traveling, especially for a short weekend because it's such a nice small size. It's tin, so it's not going to get damaged easily. Um, and it just has a lot of great shades in it. And I feel like I can get every look that I need to. I just think that this deserves a little more love. I'd like to use it more. I've had it for a while. I'd like to hit pan on just at least one shade in here. And the shade Push Up, which is the shade right here, which I love, um, really pretty color. Um, that one has a little bit of a dip in it. So I feel like if I'm gonna hit pan on anything, it's gonna be that one or maybe, you know, Nudie or Cashmere Bunny, which I use as like nice transition shades. One more th eyeshadow thing I almost forgot. So this is the Trish McAvoy 24 hour eyeshadow and liner. So this is, you know, a cream eyeshadow just in a stick version. This is in the shade, can I figure out what shade it's in? Let's see, Smoky Emerald. So the only reason I don't use this a lot is because it's sort of a shimmery dark green. So it's not like an everyday shade for me, but it is really, really gorgeous. It's stunning. I'll, I'll um, swatch it for you. Um, but you can see I have a lot left. I have used it a decent amount. I've had it for a while, um, but I just want to use it more and hopefully use it up. Uh, um, this might be hard because like I said, it's not an everyday shade for me, but it's beautiful and it does last super, super well. Um, so I, I just, it's gorgeous. Um, I don't think people really talk about these Trish McAvoy eyeshadow sticks. Uh, people talk about other ones like the Laura Mercier one, which I also love. I thought about including one of those, um, the, which is like one of my favorites, but I felt like this would be more of a challenge. These eyeshadow sticks don't get enough love, honestly. These are really, really nice. So the first lip product is a lip pencil. Um, there's quite a bit in here, but this is a great everyday shade. So I feel like, um, you know, I like, I can use this a lot. This is Mac Dervish lip pencil. This is a great lip pencil. The only thing that, the only complaint that I have with this one is that it's pretty dry. Um, like, you know, some of the Mac ones are dry. Some of them are a little more creamy. This one I feel like is pretty dry. And I don't mind a lip pencil being a little bit dry because it allows a little more room for error, especially with darker colors. But this one is really pretty dry. Um, and it's always been that way for me. It's not like it got drier, you know, as I've had it. It's always kind of been that way. I don't know if this was kind of a dud one. I don't know, you know, you tell me, have you used Mac Dervish? Is it always dry? Um, because I really do love the shade. It's such a great everyday shade. So I'd like to use this up because um, it's not my favorite lip pencil just because of the formula. Um, so I'm hoping to get rid of this one this year. This is a NARS um, satin lip pencil in, this, in the shade Recujin. This is the shade right here. It's gorgeous. It is so pretty. It's a nice like sheer shimmery pink color. Um, you can see that right there. I love this lip pencil. This is one of my favorites. It's an easy go-to shade and I have a couple samples of this because of um, this is not a sample. This is one that I've just used a lot. Um, but they did a birthday gift one year, and so I have a couple of them because I think my mom gave me one of hers. So I have a couple others of these. So I'd really just like to use this one up because I've had this for a little while, and it's it's definitely one of my favorites, but I, I just would like to kind of use at least one of mine up. The next one is a lipstick that is a formula that Urban Decay doesn't sell anymore. Um, so that's part of the reason why I wanna get rid of it, which also means that I've had it a little while. Um, and it's also a shade I just don't wear a whole lot. So that might be challenging for me, um, but I also do really like it. I just don't wear it a lot. It's like a baby pink color. This is the shade Native, which 
my guess is they still have it in the new formula. They just don't sell it like this anymore. Um, but it's not like super pale, so it is wearable. I just don't reach for it a whole lot and I really would like to use it up. I have a good amount left, but you know, I can get there. It's not too bad. Um, I just need to start reaching for it more. And the other thing that I feel like will go well with it is a lip gloss by NARS. This is the Turkish Delight lip gloss. And this is, again, it's like a baby pink and I, this is very pale. Um, and I just don't reach for this a whole lot, but I do like it a lot with that lipstick. You can see it's, um, let's see if you can see that there. Um, it's, it's very baby pink. These NARS lip glosses, I really do like them, but they kind of leak. Have you noticed that? Um, which is kind of weird because, you know, they're a really nice lip gloss and people love these lip glosses. And the last thing, <laughs> whew, my voice is tired, is a liquid lipstick. This is by Stila. This is the shade Patina. This is their Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is one of my favorites. Um, this is one of the original liquid lipsticks I got, I think, when the liquid lipstick hype was like really, really big. It just needs to be used up more. I need to get, I need to get rid of it because um, it still smells fine. It's not, it's not bad, but it will go bad if I don't use it more. I mean, you can see it's like getting kind of messy and everything. So I really want to use this one up. I, I do like the formula of these. I like the dose of colors better. It's a good shade. I mean, it's, it's a little darker than your everyday nude, but um, I could definitely get a lot of use out of this color. All right. So that is everything that I am going to vow to either hit pan on or use up in 2018. So like I said, um, every couple of few months or so I will do an update video and I will show you how I'm doing with some of these things. I'm starting this a little bit late of course um, but I think that's okay. I didn't want to discourage myself from trying this out just because of that. Um, I just really like this idea. I want to you know try and use up products more often. Let me know in the comment section below if there are products that you would like to use up in this year. Um, you know, I would love for you to do a project pan with me, whether it's one product or 18. I think it would be good for all of us to try and use up some of the things that we have, especially as we continue to buy more makeup because we all love makeup. If you're here, you love makeup, I'm sure. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this and if you are hopeful and um, optimistic about how I can do with this project. If you are not subscribed, please do that. I would really appreciate it and I would love for you to stick around and I really hope to see you next time. Bye guys.